Previously on The Truth. What's going on guys? Just got back from doing my cardio um, It's 45 minutes on the cross trainer. I've been mixing up hit and um, steady state for the past couple of weeks um, Just one to kind of switch things up and two Hit can take its toll on your body a lot um, Depending on like what you're doing and stuff and I think um, a good way to do it is to just kind of mix up the two um, there isn't a right one, there isn't a wrong one. People say, oh, I only do steady state. Some people say, oh, I only do hit. In my opinion, from experience now, um, both of them are just as good. Um, it's just, as with everything, um, everything has its time and its place. But I'm just having my extra, extra lean mints available for muscle foods and some avocado so that is my breakfast I'm out of keto now so um, yeah a few little changes but um, I'm really happy with the progression so far yesterday's leg set um, not leg session yesterday's chest session was was wicked um, all my weights went up last week um, if you I can't remember what the what video is exactly but I was doing the pause rep pause rep bench and tried going up to three plates a side um, so 140 kilos for um, which I think is about 315 pounds for a set of four and I had the spotter who I think he helped a bit too much well he had to bicep curl the fourth one because that that really stuck but I think he helped a bit too much on the third one if I'm being completely honest with myself so I wasn't I wasn't completely happy with um, with that so I tried doing it again and this time smashed all four reps pause for at least two seconds and then back up so I'm, I'm really happy with that and then single arm um, floor press using the 50 kg dumbbells which was just yeah feels good feels good which 50 kgs i think is 110 pounds so yeah really happy with that really happy with that but today we're gonna smash legs um i've been doing all my posing with naisha she is my posing coach um any of you guys looking for posing make sure you um email her i'll put her details in the description but um, I'm going to do my final kind of like tweaks with um, Helen from Panthers Gym. So I'm heading up there today, this afternoon after my leg session. So it should be good. It should be good. Got a few bits to sort out just before. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm chilled. I'm tired. <laughs> Flipping tired. But I'm just making sure I get my work done, uh, have little naps here and there so then when it comes to my training session I can smash it, smash my cardio and then back to being zombified. So most people see me now and I'm moody Gabe because I, I just, I don't have time. <laughs> it's just, I just need to focus on getting my workout done but yeah, moody Gabe is here this is the happiest you'll probably see me because I'm I'm chilled and I'm relaxed now. But during my gym session, not at all, not at all. All right, well I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and then I will catch you a bit later on. Peace. So you guys saw how easy that 180 went up. 
So I'm going for it. I'm going for 200. Let's see. If um if I had a spotter but I didn't want one so it's cool so I'm gonna drop the weight to uh, 190 and then try and wrap out to five four five guys so finished here at Panthers I'm sure if you can see the sign good gym good gym I'll put a quick highlight of what it looks like in there but um, yeah quite pleased with um, the tips that Helen aka gladiator panther Welcome Panther! Back for a second season, Panther scored a hat-trick of bodybuilding championships. In addition to Miss Universe, she has reigned as Miss Britain, Miss Russia and Miss Europe. Um, gave me for my posing just to really refine it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I feel I'm ready for um, the next the next couple weeks yeah, I'm excited I'm excited but I also just before I left got a delivery from my new sponsor I'm now sponsored by Fitmark bags so I'll show you exactly um, what bag I got um, but yeah it makes this last couple of weeks of prep a lot easier get all my food cooked and put it in my new bag and have my water and have everything there so yeah shout out to fitmark bags they'll put a link in the description because they're going to give me a discount code for you guys as well so happy days happy days but long drive home this is like in uxbridge so this is like just past like way past like north london kind of like heading heading towards that high Wickham area and I came from South East London so yeah it was about an hour 20 minutes drive that's with the traffic as well so yeah long drive home but done and dusted I feel ready I've eaten my meals so good to go good to go I'm gonna head back now catch y'all in a little bit all right guys so not long got home Traffic was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Left there at half six, something got back around quarter past eight. I did have to stop off to get some groceries and that, but <sighs> bloody joke, so tired. And then I kind of knew on the way back that I've officially entered the final hurdle of prep. I didn't listen to music the whole way. Nothing. Just silence. Me and my thoughts. It's getting tough now. But yeah, let me show you my Fitmark bag. So this one's called the shield. Get 
this open. Also, I've got four of these Tupperware boxes. Got like cooler packs there. Put my supplements and stuff in. And another one there as well. It's got these pockets that also expand out. So, <clears throat> decent bit of kit. Yeah. Very happy with that. Very happy, very, very happy. Uh, definitely going to make this next two weeks plus prep from now on that little bit easier. Um, but I'm tired. I need to sleep. I need to cook first and then sleep. So before I bore you guys and before I fall asleep with the camera. <coughs> What's going on beautiful people? It is Thursday, 10 days out from the UK BFF English Grand Prix and I'm feeling good, tired as hell but still feeling good considering. Looking good, coming in tight, coming in tight. But right now I'm heading over to my parents place because my business card got delivered there for some reason and my mom decided not to tell me so I've been panicking thinking that um, you know it hasn't been delivered and I'm gonna have to get it cancelled and make sure that um, no one's using it fraudulently and all that kind of stuff and it turns out it was sent to her there in April yeah no one told me but um, yeah so I'm gonna get that sorted and then I'm gonna head to um, dry cleaners to get my shorts adjusted my waist has come in very very tight very tight and I don't want it to look saggy because I think that can look like just it's almost as bad as the dudes that if you go back to my earlier videos where I went through that phase where my, my trousers were lower and you could see my boxes and stuff, not a good look, not a good look. But um, yeah, I didn't want it to look like that. So I am heading to the dry cleaners now and I'm gonna get it measured and fitted properly. So I will see you at either, after either location. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do first. I'm actually just as I'm driving looking for um, a decent dry cleaners but I might go to the one that I've been to before that did my wedding suit so um, yeah I'll catch you guys in a little bit all right so just left my parents picked up my bank card so now I can update everything I keep getting all these emails from like PayPal and all the other things that my business is linked to saying that your cards gonna run out and then I was starting to panic a little bit so um, yeah sorted um, now I'll just head into the dry cleaners where I'm going to get my um, shorts adjusted so I think I'm gonna head into this place right here Emerald dry cleaners they done a good job on my wedding suit so back for round two uh, guys, I so just dropped off my shorts to the dry cleaners, got it measured up. It was about, I think it was literally about an inch and a half to two inches that needed to come off, which is quite a lot. But yeah, they're gonna fit nice and nice and snug, look nice. And it wasn't actually that expensive to do it, so you know, if you're entering a men's physique show, make sure your shorts fit you tight. Well, not tight. I don't want to see like the imprints of things that shouldn't be seen. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, yeah, make sure they're fitted nicely. I mean, it's like you're showing off your best assets the same way that when you go to that ideal job, you might have to wear a tailored suit. 
to show off you know the fact that you can dress well the fact that you have a good physique to show off the tailored suit yeah enough of that today is back day so um It'll be Naisha and I training together again. So heading home, got a couple other errands to run, which we'll probably do um, after the gym. Got to go to mother care and mamas and papas uh, for baby stuff. But um, yeah, I'll see you a bit later on, probably at the gym for some workout highlights. Catch you in a bit. about to be on top. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. It's the way you see it. It's the way you think it. Your mind is the battleground. Touch somebody and tell them the enemy is after your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. Out to make you give up on your dream. The warfare is in your mind. It's not in your checkbook. It's not in your savings account. It's not on your job. The fight that you got to fight is in your mind. And if you whip it in your head, you can whip it in your checkbook. You can whip it on your job. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. Standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You're standing up for your dream. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. All right, so back from the gym. Good session. Very good session. Uh, recovery time between sets is increasing as my energy is getting lower. But... You know, knocking back the caffeine and just kind of really, really drawing on motivation um, from music and that type of thing. And it is hard, it is hard, but it's the final stretch now. So, you know, picturing yourself on stage, how you're going to look, what shorts you're going to wear, the excitement kind of starts to carry you over. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that session. Still getting some strong lifts. So, I've just finished, I had to reorganize the supplement covers because it was just too much. Like there were, as you saw from one of my previous videos, there's, there were so many shakers and I don't use that many shakers. So I just kind of got rid of the, or put in the shed, not got rid of, put in the shed what I'm not using and just kept out what I potentially could use, you know, stuff that I need to review and that type of stuff. So let's have a look. Alright, uh, so literally, you think I was sponsored by Smart Shake. But yeah, loads of Smart Shakers, a couple other shakers that came from you know, stuff I had to sample. And of course, my Pro Mix. And then these just hold like protein or whatever supplements when I want to go to the gym and stuff. Alright, so <laughs> as you, I'm gonna include that footage in in this video because I literally, as I went to open a second cupboard, I dropped the camera 
and the whole lens closing system messed up all broken everywhere else. oh man man oh man but it was literally just that bit the bit like when you open it covers the lens and that bit everything else was fine so i just spent the last half an hour putting it back together again it's a good thing i'm handy so <laughs> now let's finish what i started <laughs> and this time i've got this loop thing on that's now attached. So I'm not dropping this camera again because, yeah, it's too expensive to be dropping like that. So, anywho, onto this bit. Uh, so now I've got pretty much every supplement that I'm currently using or will be using or, you know, might use depending on my mood, taste, how I'm feeling and then finally the protein powder cupboard so we've got some casein, some hypergrow, BPI and this one is a new one that I'm going to be trying out after after my show um, it's I think it's, it's something stupid like 1100 calories per shake which is crazy but yeah so we're going to be trying that after the show possibly depending on what I'm going to do because I'm going to reverse diet out and then probably drop back into keto so I might not use ever use that it might just be kind of like for a review but for some strange reason I've been craving coffee I hate coffee. Anyone that knows me, I literally hate coffee. And I went to see um, my dad on Father's Day and he was sat there with this cup of coffee and I was like, hmm, something smells nice. And he was like, it's this coffee. And I was like, I'm gonna have to go and get some. So I'm literally going now. Gonna go to co-op and I'm gonna get some coffee. All right, so I've made my cup of coffee. <sighs> really don't know why I'm craving this, but Check out this mug that Naisha got me, Mr. Strong. And yet behind us, we leave a more visible trail of roads whose horrible history can come back to haunt them long after they've left our screens. Where have you been all my life? It's time to hit that trail. I suggest we saddle up. Oh, wow. Some intense flavours. But I like it. I don't know why I'm craving all kinds of stuff this prep. I blame, I'm going to blame the pregnancy hormone stuff again. As for the reason why I'm craving coffee. Um, yeah, I guess I'm a coffee drinker now. Logan will be proud of me. Goody Beats? What do you reckon? I like coffee. I got a lot of work to do and I spent way too much time fixing the lens cover on this camera so I am going to get down to it, get down to work and I will see you later. Remember to always be true no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it, I got my whole cool life on it. Man, listen.